Hello everybody, welcome back to Become a Legend, where we have signed for Odens. Apologies for the uh, the little gap in between episodes, obviously left it on a bit of a tenterhook, didn't I, that we had signed for Odens, where we're starting in our first game, hooray, which is great, but we're starting at right back, which is a bit weird. Um, I think, have I, is that me saying I've requested the number 33? I think it is, yeah, preferred number. 33. That's what we want to go for, please. Um, let's just get into it. I mean, right back at a new club that plays possession football, I'm assuming we're going to get quite a lot of the ball here. We are rated 63 at right back, which is joint best right back at the club, which is strange because we're a left winger. So... Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Not only is it our first game for Odens, it's our first game for Odens in the snow as well, which will be absolutely quality as we come out of the stadium, which is good, out of, out of the tunnel. There's the referees. We look good in our little white and blue stripes. And I honestly, no idea what to expect. But if you are enjoying the series, please do leave a like. It's the best way to show me that you want it to carry on, really. Um, but yes, here we are at right back. I can only assume we're going to be quite attacking, hopefully. I'll have that. Go on, let's give me an early touch. Give me an early touch. I mean, not quite the pass I wanted, but... Yep, yeah, happy with that. Look at this, a bit of possession. I mean, I there is, there's some other... Why is he playing a long ball? We definitely... Just check that. Just want to check that. Short pass, counter-attack. Yep, yeah, absolutely no need to play that long ball. Brilliant. Um, I do watch some other people play pairs online. True Bricks is one of them. A lot of people have you put. Uh, a lot of people have put him in my comment section to say, you know, you should be uh, checking this guy out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I watch him. I know him. That's fine. Another one is Pez Story Mode, who, uh, yeah, we love that. Pez Story Mode, who uh, does, like it says on the tin, story modes within Pez, which is great. And the one he's doing at the moment is a uh, become a legend, and he's a right back. And I, that's not a foul, ref. I'm sliding. I've got the ball. I'm in yellow card. What the hell am I? I'm in control of it. Shut up. Shut up. Never. I mean, is this a foul? Get it. Let me know in the comments. Is that a foul? Would you give that as a foul? Gone that I've slid in and got the ball when I mean when I was running with it. Terrible decision. Booked early doors. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, so Pez story mode. His channel. Go and check him out if you like Pez. He's very very good. He. Uh, is a right back or was starting as a right back he's done a pez story mode and created a character of himself starting at right back and i know that you can uh, you can actually play relatively attacking from right back and uh, try and get on the end of it and put people under pressure our problem is that we don't have much stamina so when we run up we only have to sprint back and uh here we go we're on the ball here little little jink inside we'll have that please ref thank you so we've given away one free kick and won a free kick in the first, oh, he doesn't get booking. There is a Launenborg. No, he doesn't. He gets let off, let off with a little chat. But um, yeah, there we go. Nice little jink inside that. Nice little jink. We're actually an inverted wing back, aren't we? If I think about it correctly, because we're a left-footed wing back. We're going to play, play a little one-two. We're actually running to a lot of space out wide. We'll let them. Uh, that's them just playing hug the touchline. Oh, that's a good ball. Have a go, sir. I mean, I'm always a free... We could be on free kicks. We very well could be on free kicks here. And already, it wasn't a long ball played up. It was a little ball into feet to the striker. Oh, is it all the way back there? I thought it was going to be a free kick from uh, a bit closer in. But I'll tell you what, if you just drop us a pass here, we'll have this. That is one of the worst short free kicks in history. And I really wish I hadn't called for the ball. So we have uh, picked it up deep in our own half. We're just going to try and run a little bit wider. There's not too much on at the moment. Um, I mean, we'll play it infield. Like, that's, that's all I think we've got to just do a little bit of that. Keep the possession and try and keep it ticking over. If they can build it around, that's fine. Because we've got a lot of space on this side. Ah, oh, lovely crossfield ball. We do. I do like the look of that. If you call for it and they've got time, they'll try it. A little bit under uh, pressure there from Saliu, but... You know, it nearly, nearly worked. Are we just going to leave that? You're going to leave that. Okay. Again, not expecting the football to be brilliant, but he's, he looks so far offside. No, who's keeping it? It definitely wasn't me. I'm nowhere near my defensive duties, but 
we'll see how this goes. See how, see what happens with this attack. We're going to come in. Look at this for an inverted wing back running through the middle. We're still going here. We've actually come into a very attacking position. We'll have that. Flick it on one more. Lovely. We'll have it back. Little back heel. Oh, he nearly tr he tried it. He tried to lay it back. Oh, our striker's in. The striker's in on goal. Finish it, lad. He has finished it. It looked like it was a terrible finish. But he has put it in. I need to learn the players' names, to be honest. It's Svensson who gets it. Number 10. Out and out striker. It was We were involved in the early build-up of it. Not in the actual goal part of it. But it's all good. That flag's waving itself. But yeah, lovely, uh, lovely little finish. But just, look at this. See, look, we were here just moving it around in the midfield. And this guy went long. Striker won it. And it was a great little nod into a bit of space. And he had his shot straight down the middle. Keeper should do better. Take note. Shoot. Shots. Loads of shots. Loads of loads of shots. But it's a good little flick there from the striker. Fell nicely into his strike partner's path. And uh, the little shot. Terrible goalkeeping. 1-0 Odens. Love it. Let's start our career here with a win. Even at right back. That would be sweet. A clean sheet. I'll take a clean sheet as well. Oh, Sally, who's on the edge. He's got round one. Great save, keeper. Great save. I don't know if he was our man or not. I don't feel like he was. But uh, it's very different playing at right back. You have to keep your eye on a lot of different things. Because you can see I'm well out of position there. He got round the first one. Good hit. Good save, keeper. So we are actually on the front post for this corner. And, uh, it goes in and I've come off the post accidentally, but Salo will pick it up again. Good challenge. Let's go. Let's go. Let's counter. Let's counter. I'm trying to get out there with you, but I've got no stamina left. Put me in. Oh, it got blocked. I think he did try to put a pass in. Cleared away though. I think that'll be half time once this is bounces. There we go. 1 0 up at half time. Decent. We're a bit tired and it's a bit strange playing at right back, but so far so good. So it is a one shot, one on target, one goal. But we can, uh, we're just going to dive in here and right back. So we've had eight passes, six successful, uh, one foul given. Uh, dribbled at 94.2 metres, so not very far. Average speed 16.6, time pitch 45 minutes, nine touches in total, of which eight have been passes. And you can see we're sort of drifting up the right, a bit, a bit central at times. But do you know what? I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. Second half gets underway. We're still on the pitch, which is always a positive sign. And um, yeah, it's very, very different. As I said, I'm not, I'm not disliking it, which is uh, interesting. Keeper can just play that one out to us. Look at this. I mean, when you're in a, a, a short passing team, it makes all the difference. You can have that defeat. We'll have it back. Oh, I went for a one-two up the line. Sorry, mate. My bad. Got to go out and meet the cross here. Great block on it. Maybe I'm a right back. Maybe. I mean, I was, I am a defender when I play football in real life, and I was a better defender when I was younger. But uh, I, yeah, I am a defender when I play football in real life, so maybe this is a bit more natural for me. And Bojan's found a new calling. I'll go and press. I'll go and press. It's fine. Yeah. See, show him inside, force him backwards. Larry Edison on the ball. Oh, I thought I was going to put a foot in there. I am a bit risky being on a yellow. I'm just going to sit down next to our centre back here as they put the cross in. They've got a man free at the back post. He's uh, driven that low. They're not whipping it into the box much either. Randers FC. Lorinderson. Oh, good challenge. No referee. No, he got the ball. You can see with the direction it went. All that patient defending. And our captain's giving away a free kick. Number 23. Oh, he maybe, maybe kicked his foot. Maybe the attacker got on the ball first. But we're not in the wall. 57 minutes gone and we're staying on the pitch. And uh, that's been floated in great defensive diving header away love to see it we're actually trying to launch a bit of a counter attack here is oh i didn't put enough on the pass but we were involved in breaking out there once we won the ball. And uh, potentially, we have a go 
again here. Nah, it's blocked. That clearance was blocked as Hamashoy Misterate, which is an amazing name, is uh, coming forward. I find myself getting drawn towards the ball, which is terrible as a defender. We're actually marking their striker as well, which is never a good thing for a fullback to be marking a big, tall striker. Luckily, they've played it to the edge, and I can hand over duties to someone else. Salu puts it in. Kamara tries to turn. Cleared away. Good defending again. Again, we're involved in the counter-attack as uh, Djordjic is going to lay that one off. And can he keep the ball? No, he can't. But he's won a free kick. That could be the end of our game because we're very, very tired. I don't think our rating's the best. But we're struggling to get up and down the pitch anymore now as Gravs gives away uh, the free kick. Again, gets a talking to. And, uh, yeah, it was a free kick, that one. He just caught him very late. Very, very late. From Graves, Gravs. I'm going to assume we're in... And there we go. Uh, not a bad first game, I would say. Lund, the actual normal right back, where a number two comes on to replace us. And uh, I would say, all in all, not a terrible game. I'm, I'm quite happy with our performance. I think it'll be around about a 5.5, maybe a 5. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So as we head into the final five minutes, it's been an interesting game actually, because they do, Odens are, it's, this is quite interesting watching them play from this sort of uh, view, because they do keep the ball around the back, you'll probably see it from this upcoming goal kick, we'll just skip the replay, but they do keep the ball around the back and then they've got a couple of like midfielders that will like to try and play it long into the space behind, so it is a bit interesting as Lund has lost out dreadfully there, and Reis is coming up against a Pundu, a Pundu back to Ladersen. Back to Lauenburg. Salut. Lauenburg again. Ball through. And that goes off and it's a 1-0 win. I'm happy with that to start the career at Odens. I felt like in myself that like we played well. They had more shots. We had our one shot that went in. Love it. Never change, Pez. Oh, no. Please do change. Uh, we got a five, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think, you know, getting to grips with the right back position. Like that. And we sit second. So we've come into a pretty good situation, actually. 31 points. We're chasing down the lead, league leaders. Uh, we'll have to, hopefully, improve in uh, in that situation. Next up, FC Michelin in another big game in Denmark. Michelin versus Odens. A clean sheet. We got a clean sheet. I said I'd be happy with that. We are. Uh, we get the number 33, which is good. And we're starting as a left midfielder. That's better. That's more like it. Let's get out there, show the world what we can do from a left midfield. So let's try and learn some of these player names. We're on a blue. So we've got Svensson starting up front again. He got the goal. We've got Thomas and Flokjar Jensen behind us. We've got Cloverson, I think it is, um, on the right. To, oh, no, it's just Clove on the right. Then we've got Drachman in holding midfield. we got Lange at left back. We've got... Tverskov and Larson at centre back. Clave at right back at a rated 57. Oh my word. Sayuba in goal and uh, us at left mid. So, yeah, hopefully we can make something happen in this game. Let's crack into it, see how we get on. Right then, here we go. Away at FC Micheland. And uh, I'm excited. It's not snowing, so we should have good control with the feet, um, with our feet, obviously, with the ball at our feet. And hopefully we can get off to a wing start. We've got our number 33 on. We're, we're playing at a position that we want to play. We need to impress. We've been given our shirt number. We want to get out there and show the boss what we can do. So here we go then. It's um, I'd, I'd say this is probably our defining game. This is where we need to get a, a 6 or a 6.5 to start us off on a reasonably good uh, start in our preferred position with our preferred shirt number. As you can see, it is asking us to play quite inside when the ball shifts over to the right. So we're not hugging uh, the touchline on, on both sides. They go long looking for us and I think I won that header and the striker just wasn't paying attention. Okay, so 15 minutes in, I'm under no illusion how hard this is going to be because FC Michland are absolutely dominating this game. And we're uh, being asked to defend a lot, and that has been cleared away. Good header away again. They've had two shots, and our keeper's pulled off two magnificent saves. We do have a bit of a stadium issue with the camera, is that when it gets into the right-back position sort of there, you can't really see what's going on. But uh, it's a good clearance away. Sivenchko picks it up for 
Michelin. Obviously one of the biggest biggest teams in Denmark alongside with Copenhagen, I'd say, probably. As uh, our striker is away on the right-hand side. Now, have some good hold-up play, lad. Have some good hold-up play. We're in the box if you need us. We're, in, we're, we're trying to get in there. You're holding it up well. We're just trying to keep a position on the edge. Come on, put a cross in. Uh, too much hold-up play. But uh, let's not complain. He's going to get there. He's going to fall back to us. We'll have a rocket of a shot. A shot on target. Take it. Mitchelland on the attack again down our side and we're playing very, very defensive here as uh, Sisto comes in, gets it back. Still keeping the ball, Sisto. Good interception that. Let's go. Now, this is where we've got a break. We are playing counter-attacking football and, uh, well, we've absolutely done that guy there. Let's try and dink one over the top. Have we got enough on it? So, Vienchko, all we can do is clear it out for a throw. Not bad. Not bad. Play it along one more. It's a, oh, it's a terrible back heel. Why are you back heeling that for me? Take a touch. There's no need to do that. In this left midfield role, we are going to be tiring ourselves out quite a lot. Look how far back our arrow is saying we've got to go. As Sisto gets uh, out of range of the roof getting in the way, but then it comes back in the way and Sisto lays it back to Evander. Evander to Frank. Frank, and we're, mar we're basically marking this guy here and I don't really want to lose him. As it goes back to Frank again, we're asked to just fill in great challenge. And now this is where we need to sort of put the afterburners on. You're on your own at the moment, mate, up front. Oh, I think he's been crowded out, he has. And again, possession, little build up, but like nice. Slow possession, but I much prefer this sort of team. Right, let's make a run off him. Go on, win that flick on. Everybody missed it. If I'd run behind you, I probably would have got in. Nil-nil at half time. We haven't had it. We've had my one shot. Mitchell have dominated it. But uh, all in all, again, I'm not too upset, to be honest. I'd like us to be a bit more attacking. But all in all, yeah, not too upset. We've completed some passes and we've had a couple of misplaced passes. We've had a shot on target, so... This guy knows. Look at that. Getting us the ball back. Yeah, have it back. Have it back. Come on. Go on. Up the line. Should have. I probably should have called for it. He's done a very good job of holding on to that, actually. Ah, uh, no. There we go. Yeah, nice. Oh, Bojan. Lovely turn. Oh, no. Showed him a little bit too much of the ball. Now we've got to go and get it back. Schwartz is over the ball. Back to Dreyer. Dreyer under pressure. We're grabbing at his shirt a little bit. And, uh, oh no, he's our man. He's our man. If he can't do it, great. And a uh, good header away from the defender. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind you putting your foot through that. But, uh, you know, slow, patient build-up. Roof gets in the way. And it gets in the way again. Go on, keeper, out here. Oh, you've gone up to the striker, who actually is potentially going to win that. Yeah, we missed it. We missed the header. <laughs> oh, he should have got that. Our left back just stood there like a muppet. And uh, the keeper's gone and picked that one up very nicely. Come out to the left. I didn't mean literally boot it up in the air towards me, but... Oh, he's won it. No! Because the AI doesn't go for a ball if you've called for it. That was really annoying. And it could give them an opportunity here. Schwartz is in. Oh, I thought he was going to cut back. We did get back in time to put in a defensive sort of off-putting position. Rather than anything uh, major. That's a terrible pass though. Sisto's going to whip that one in. And it's hooked away. We may be getting taken off here again after an hour. We've not played brilliantly. I feel like we're ticking it over. But no, there we go. We're off again. Lund again on to replace us. So is the right back going to be playing left mid for the rest of the game? Um, interesting as Schwartz is taken off to replace by Cabot. Oh, it's 1-0 Mitchelland. That's what happens when you take us off. And it's the substitute, Cabba, who I think is Steve, Stephen Cabba. I think it's Stefan Stephen Cabba, who uh, I do sort of recognise. 
and uh, what, a, what a replay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to miss the goal, but it was a lovely finish struck from uh, the edge of the box past the keeper. It's no less than they deserve, I'd say. They probably have been the better team in the game. So again, final five minutes we're going to come back for. We've not really created too much as uh, Lund is actually playing at left midfield, which is interesting. Scholes puts that out for a throw. Uh, quick question for everyone in the comments then. Let me know as we change strikers. Let me know uh, what you prefer. Do you prefer two games like this and make the episodes a little bit shorter or three games in an episode and make it a little bit longer? Let me know. Today will be two games so you can get an understanding of what it's like. But uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll be back. We'll play a couple of games offline and then come back for some more. As we get shot off, it's blocked. I mean, we do have some good football. We do play some good football. That's going to hurt our playoff, our playoff, our championship charge. As Drea, um, we're not going to watch all the replays. I'm accidentally pressing A, not start. But uh, there we go. Yeah, three shots, one on target, four and four. They probably deserved it, to be honest. In terms of match ratings, we get a 4.5. So we actually played better at right back. Uh, Cabot got man of the match. Let's just have a quick look at our stats here. So yeah, one shot, one shot. Only two passes, one successful. That's what's killed us. Doing literally nothing. Six touches of the ball, only making two passes in 64 minutes is pretty dreadful, especially in a passing team. I'm too used to Paris. Absolutely rubbish. Right, let's go and see the schedule. See if there's anything, uh, you know, important. That drops us down to fifth. Man, what a tight league. Oh my word. Other than the bottom three, that is a very tight league at the top. So it's the last day of the transfer window. We can't put in another request, so we're going to be staying here. Uh, I'm pretty sure. You're going to have your chance indicated. Oh yeah, it says it's, uh, it says it's closed, doesn't it? Let's have a quick look at the schedule then. So we've, oh, we've got Copenhagen next. Then we've got Allborg, who are doing pretty well. Norgeland. A big break. National team squads. Um, it looks like we're going to be named in that. Is that the end of the season? What? That is a really weird layout to the season. All right. We'll do... Um, we'll just do all the games then. Because what is going on with this season? Is it just because there's so few teams in the league? I think it is. You get to January and then you play... So hang on. We're doing January. This is January. And then this is February. You have one, two, three. You have four games. You have four games after January. All oh, right. Well, we'll do two games an episode and we'll come back for the two. Oh, my God. That's. Did I just read that right? Have we joined in a cup final? <gasps> we have. The DBU Pokal and final. Oh, well, we'll do the whole game for that one, actually. So what we'll do then is we'll actually come... Next episode, we'll do these three games. So we'll do uh, Copenhagen, Oldborg, and Norgeland. And then that's the end of the season. And then we'll come back for uh, the cup final and uh, see how we get on against Mitchland in the cup final for another episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new. And uh, for now, I'm out. Cheers.